Hello, I am Damian White. This is my associate Todd Graff, and this is the Gold Spot. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. We're here kind of in the dog days of summer right now. There's not a lot of economic information that's been happening. Um, although today is a Federal Reserve announcement, so we will get a little bit of indications from Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve on monetary policy. It's not meant to be anything to shock the markets or the, the economic system, maybe a quarter of a percent interest rate um, hike that we'll find out later um, in this afternoon. However, later um, next month, there's a, there's a conference coming up with um, the BRICS countries, and they're, they're formulating some things behind closed doors here. And maybe, Todd, can you have a little bit of um, enlightenment as to what, what's going on, just what the implications of this might be for, for us going forward? Yeah, there's been a lot of confusion about this, this topic, and there's some things we know and a lot of things that we don't know about it. Uh, but the BRICS nations, and that consists of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, along with quite a few other nations as well, um, they'll be meeting on August 22nd through the 24th uh, next month to discuss alternatives to using the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. You know, there's been a lot of uh, talks about creating a gold-backed currency. Uh, now, there's a lot of confusion. We don't know all the details, and nobody knows exactly how this is going to play out. Uh, but a lot of my clients are worried that this could affect the U.S. dollar in the form of devaluing, higher prices for, for things that you buy. So a lot of people are looking at gold and silver as a way to, to protect their money no matter what happens. And especially, yeah, if these countries are looking at a gold-backed currency themselves to use for trade, I mean, it would be a good idea for, for individuals here in this country to use gold and silver to, to uh, protect their assets as well. Um, so yeah, currencies are a big deal right now. I know there's a lot of talk too with uh, central bank digital currencies as well. I know you know a little bit more about that. Yeah, the digital currencies are definitely coming, coming to play right now. There's some certain programs that they're passing. The Federal Reserve is doing the FedNow program, which they're rolling out, which is going to be a, kind of a beta program for rolling out a central bank digital currency to the people. Um, so that, in coordination with the BRICS, moving away from the dollar and transactions, has caused a lot of concern from our clients. We've actually been extremely busy in the last few weeks as, as this, these deadlines start approaching. Um, and in regards to that, we've also recently revised and updated our digital currency report, which has been getting some great feedback. A lot of customers have been reading this and starting to just understand the implications of what happens as we... Um, as the U.S. dollar starts losing its stronghold and transactions around the world are starting to get bifurcated into different currencies, um, maybe possibly barter with gold and silver, um, decentralized um, cryptocurrencies and things like that. So it might be something that would be interesting for you to read. You can call us, you can text, you can email um, to request a copy of that report. And we will see you next time.